Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra Space and oh what do we have here more community stuff to look at what's this top one is RCE's non-use of the grid crazily aggravating to anyone else you're not meant to use these to have a go at me guys you bastards I probably shouldn't call them bastards but let's get into the game and we'll see what we can do about the grid stuff okay but first a massive thank you to today's sponsor Atlas VPN now, if you're anything like my Labrador puppy Paddy, you probably want to enjoy the internet whilst knowing you and your IP address are safe from pesky architects trying to steal your data. And being the young pup Paddy is, you also probably want to enjoy a VPN that is suitable for gaming. So if you click the link in my description, you can get a three year Atlas VPN subscription for just $1.39 a month. And that comes with a 30 day money back guarantee if it's not for you. Now, Paddy loves high speed gaming and Atlas VPN offers the best VPN speed with over 750 optimized servers for reduced lag and ping. It also allows him to appear in a different location so he can access games that were previously unavailable due to geo restrictions. And with Atlas VPN, there's no risk of your ISP being an architect and throttling your connection whilst you game. Right now, there's a huge discount on Atlas VPN. Click the link in my description to get your three year subscription for just $1.39 a month. And you could be as happy as this little puppy as well. So thanks to Atlas VPN for supporting the channel and thanks to Paddy for being the best apprentice engineer I could ever ask for. But let's get back to today's video. Right, so here we are. I don't really know what that person's on about saying I never use grids. I mean, all my buildings and roads are definitely parallel. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Particularly these ones. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, you've got a point. You've got a point, person that made that claim. Anyway, look, we, we're in a new update. Now, can you see this? We've, we've got a warning for pipes because these big boy buildings, they now need water. Oh no. Oh, they're all being downgraded. They're all being downgraded. Okay, so let's just pause before things get out of control. Yes, the new update brings us this part of the tab. It, I thought it was like a gas flame, but I think it's actually a raindrop because look, there's water to air filter. So basically for the cost of 12 measly concrete, you can create a water every eight seconds. There's also some other things like a groundwater extractor, a methane drill. I'm not entirely sure how we get. Do we need to research them? Yes, look, we got to go back. Oh, we got some easy research to do. All right, so I'll tell you what, we are going to go research all of it. Oh, look, we got loads of stuff. Spaceship construction. <gasps> Tanks. Oh, water tank and oxygen tank. Okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to like start a war on some architect colony. Okay, first off, let's let's research some pipes. And then I guess methane and then tanks and then that and then that and then that. Cool. And whilst that's all researching, I need to fix some of these roads. Some of my roads are broken. How did that happen? Unless maybe the update, maybe they made like, oh, the grid is on. Turn the grid off. Turn the grid off. Right, there you go. So that can go wherever I want it to now. Oh, look, we've already unlocked the oxygen and water pipes. How exciting. Uh, right, unfortunately, oh no. All of our habitats are massively downgrading because they really, really need water. Oh, look, we can give people oxygen via pipes now so we don't have to waste all that road space. Ooh, that is handy, game. That is handy. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't like that colony's getting downgraded massively, but it is what it is. I think to start, I'll go around. I'll try and fix all of these roads. I'm not really sure what's gone on here. It seems to be lots of just tiny little tweaks that means things don't quite fit anymore. Oh, wow. That's a lot of downgrading. That's a lot of downgrading. Oh, no. It's like last episode all over again. Oh, I think they made solar panels bigger because look, now these are like overlapping. Oh, that is annoying. <laughs> How am I meant to... Oh, no. Oh, look how many cables move when I try and move this. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's fixed. That's definitely fixed. And look, we've unlocked the methane drill. Time to drill for some farts. All right, just got to fix these solar panels over here. Oh, and even these need water. They need water everywhere on this planet. They're all just greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Right, and I think I've connected everything up again. My my habitat has been completely decimated, though. We're literally back at level one habitats. So this is not good. But that is because they need the basic need of water to level up. And we don't have any water at the moment. So first off, we're going to have to build like a water plant. So what I should probably do is pick a place where I want to build these. Probably using an arm off this very, very efficient junction. Yeah, perhaps in this gap here. 
here. Right, so what do we need to make water? We just need a water air filter. And yep, it looks like these have to be placed on roads. Okay, so Mr. Gritty people, I'm going to do this in a grid like a boring old architect. So they just want to be that wide. Okay, we can literally just do that. Do the same down this side and connect into there. Right, so we need electricity for these. That's fine. There's lots of electricity over there. So all we'll do, we'll build some power poles connecting from that over to here and then we'll build a substation because look at the area that, that covers now it's all connected look we've got loads of power because it's part of network one cool so these are now producing water and look water is leaving in the hover trucks and heading towards our city and also we've just unlocked the oxygen tank and the water tank so let's see how they work as well so what i'm thinking perhaps they link with pipes so if i build a water tank like there with the corner of it overhanging that road. <laughs> nice and safe, yes. And then another one sort of over by my habitat. Now it looks like these water tanks, they don't need to be by roads, which is good. But how does the water pipe work? Not entirely sure. You can't seem to snap it to any of these buildings. Interesting. We can put pipes under this road. Is it under the road? I think it's under the road. Ah, oh, look, and it connects to all of them. Interesting. Okay. So what if we go past this water tank? It connects to the water water tank as well nice i guess i've just got to get to my city somehow now in the real life we'd keep these under the road just to make maintenance a bit easier so i'll probably do the same all right so i'm literally just going up every single road i'm just turning this grid into a gridded pipe network now, annoyingly it seems to want to snap like i want to go there not there but it won't let me i probably should have drawn this to grid or something initially <laughs> Right, commenter. All right, but after a bit of fannying around, we are we are under all the roads and all of our buildings are connected now? Yes, yeah, sort of. We do need to get up here. These are our normal processes. Turns out they need water as well. So do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And now these are all connected to our water network, but it does say no water. Is that because... It might be because we're not producing enough water. So we might want to expand this to have more water. So if we do another strip like that, Oh, the grid is actually quite useful. <laughs> I'm starting to see why people want the grid. All right, there we go. We've doubled our water production. Oh, look, we're getting some upgrades. Nice, we're back in business. Back in business. Uh, question though, do these do these veg things not need water? No, apparently they don't. Even though you can clearly see there's water being used in there. <laughs> They don't need water. What about these bigger ones? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd say that's definitely using water, but apparently not. How random. Right, anyway, let's, we've got to, we've got to water over to that way. So we'll come off this road and this is our sort of steel works. So we've got to connect all of these steel plants up. There we go. And they should get their water now. Is there a way to like see water? I mean, I can see, I can see the pipes. Can't seem to see water actually flowing along it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm noticing there's still, there's still like hover trucks leaving with water do i want to stop that happening because i'm trying to reduce traffic here i don't know all i do know is look we've got we got some tier six habitats back oh there goes one they're all popping up it's beautiful oh and one other update i i noticed look remember this bridge we built last time it was so high that we built it on stilts well we don't actually need these anymore because look these are infinitely longer i think if we build a road look how high we can go Yes, yes, devs. So I did actually personally request this by the devs. Uh, we now have massively, massively increased building height, which is, well, it's, it's going to be messy. Like, look how high this is compared to my city. <laughs> Oh, the frame rate is not gonna like when we get involved with that. But for now, we're just we're just fixing. We've got we've got loads of water to do over here. So everyone knows water is generally stored in the tip. Let's build these along here. How's that commenter? No grid. Look, no spaces either. I eyeballed it perfectly. Just ignore that angle. All right, so they're all powered up, and now we can put in a new pipe network. All right, so there we go. That is looking very very efficient now. So hopefully, as we get some more jobs and things, that will all get sorted out uh, i do actually need to sort my jobs out we've got 5,000 jobs but only 1200 population and that's despite us leveling up to level six on a lot of these habitats yes yeah, so at the moment we're not attracting anyone which is really quite surprising when you look at all this wait what's happened it someone spooched on us like what's this is that like ice or something yeah somebody over here what is that it's like ice i don't know but anyway we're not attracting anyone because look 
Our average habitat level is 2.71 and our required habitat level is 3.1 because at the moment our immigration rate is low which basically means although we have these habitats look zero out of 18 there's no one in these another zero out of 18 we need people to move in the only way to do that is to increase our overall level and you can see a lot of these are still like level one level two now what we need to do we need to come into the production overview and basically we'll have to fiddle with all these sliders and sort of get everything back to like white so basically if it's like an orange color it means we're not making enough for the demand so for example for the aluminium we need to make 26 we're only making 20 because there's 15 people employed there if we employ some more people there you go, that's gone up to 26 so basically we just need to make all of these match and then we're good. So we're making way too much sulfur. So we'll turn the sulfur down so it's like 54. So that will do. Same with the carbon. Way too much of that. So it's basically just a balancing act. Trying to get all these numbers white. And that means your jobs are sort of efficient. And then basically as our population increases, we can just adjust these as and when. So now these are leveling up. Have we attracted any more people? <gasps> yes, they're all arriving in the... G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. And yes, in case you missed last time, the G wagon shirt is now available to my Patreon members only. So you can represent your own G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. It probably does get old, but not to me. All right, next up, to try and make sure my traffic doesn't get bad, I might try and put some oxygen pipes in. Because we know as oxygen leaves like all these, they're going to be clashing with the G-Wagons, clashing with the other resources. Traffic has been a big issue in my city. So if we come into the pipe network, we can build oxygen pipes. Now I'm thinking slash hoping I can just draw like a pipe along here. Yes, that connects all of my oxygen things. So then if we follow these we can literally just do the same thing so i'm just going to network up the entire city basically which means now everything should be getting their oxygen and water via pipes which hopefully will reduce traffic yeah i can't see i can't see any oxygen trucks coming out of these fantastic oh my goodness look at the g wagon g wagon g wagon g wagon g wagons there's so oh my goodness the right nut is just all g-wagon at the moment everyone is visiting the city once again the population numbers are flying up yes today is a good day uh, but we still have a bit of a problem up here we're not we're not making enough water for all these and we're still quite away from the groundwater extraction i think what i'm gonna have to do is build more water plants so let's turn the grid back on let's build a load more water plants all right there we go oh i love i love building things fast all right so there we go lots more water the downside i'm not sure how the water tanks work and i wonder if it's worth just dotting some water tanks about like if i shove one up here I shove one over here somewhere. Like, are these going to help? I mean, that one isn't because it's not connected. But if we just do a water pipe like that, it's now connected. I just don't know. I don't know the purpose of a water tank, if I'm honest. Nice. Back into the production overview. We've got a few red numbers now. So we do actually need some home appliances. So we'll rang those up a little bit. Oh, do you see all the upgrading from that? Nice. Now, the water we can... We can actually reduce the water a lot. That's taking a lot of our workers. So we'll go down to like 200. Uh, we need some home robots because that means there's less jobs required and it says we need hollow displays now last time they're literally hollow displays did nothing so what i'm wondering is did they fix that did they make it so vr edutainment they have they bloomin have vr edutainment factory they now need hollow displays so the dev fixed their error but it ruined my city because we didn't have that in our production chain so we're currently making hollow displays over here i think yeah this building here hollow display now where do they end and up they go oh, all the way up to here that's a long way that's quite a journey let's try and work out the route they take so they'll come out of here they'll join this really fast road go down at the massive corkscrew go all the way along here straight through this hopefully and then ideally we need to take them off i feel like we sort of want a new we want a straight road going up here all right we're gonna come over this and connect in there <laughs> 
Because I've got to end up in those purple buildings. So that should be a shortcut. Should being the key word. So we've just got to keep an eye out. Hollow displays. When are you going to leave? Aha, here we go. Delivery truck. Transporting two hollow displays to VR Entertainment. And if we follow this very handy lit up thing, we can see, yes, he's using my new road. Nice. That is good. What isn't good? Why does everyone need water? Why do you all need water? We're making enough water. It's just not guessing there. Why aren't you producing me enough water? I mean, they are. Their outgoing storage is full. And if the outgoing storage is full, then that means that there's, like, plenty of water there. It's just not getting anywhere. All right, not entirely sure. There's there's a lot of traffic about. Although, looking at it, I don't think there's any oxygen or water tanks on the road, which is good. But it's still pretty gridlocked. I think it's all this good food trying to get in. Damn good food. Why are you so tasty? Anyway, we'll sort of leave that trying to fix itself. I don't want to get too involved. We need to try and fix this. So the yellow science now needs methane. So we need a methane drill. Can I just put this anywhere? Or does it have to go like on a resource? Ah, oh, look, look, look. What does that say? Building not placed on resource deposit. Okay. Okay, cool. So we've got to find a methane area. Could it be? Is that what this is? Oh, that's what that is. Look, it goes from yellow to normal. Okay, well, it can't go here because this is like very, very important advertising space. Far too expensive to rip that up. So we need to find somewhere else that has it on the map. Wow, okay. So this is literally miles away from anything. But we've got a load there. They just need some roads and then obviously pipes. So if we just do a bit of that, shove that down just for the lows. <laughs> Give it a bit of power. And then we're good. We're creating methane. Now we just need to pipe it to where it's needed. So if we connect all of these up, then we can make the world's longest pipeline over to here, the yellow science. So that's 617 steel and the cost of my frame rate. I clicked about five minutes ago. There it goes. <laughs> and we just connect all of those up. And then hopefully these should have some methane being delivered. Should being the key word. Oh, there you go. It just made a methane and it's not being stored, which hopefully means it's being delivered it says no on all of them yeah really not sure really not sure how these pipes work i'm gonna have to do a bit of research especially it like everything i upgraded is downgraded again because they're not getting water why aren't you getting water apparently we're making loads of water i don't understand oh look we've created a methane power plant oh for the low low cost of 500 concrete and 200 steel we can make 250 megawatts how does that compare to a solar panel oh that's that's pretty good, actually. So I could make my power grid even more efficient if I use these. Still, power is not an issue, so I'll leave that for now. What is an issue is everything, basically. <laughs> So I'm going to take a few minutes to bury my head in the sand and create this, the Trucknado. It's literally a Trucknado. <laughs> you can see there are actually little, little, little postmen making their deliveries going all the way oh man they spin really fast on the bottom and then they get slower and slower and slower and slower wow that is a feat of engineering or mainly just a feat of persistence it took quite a long time now we're not even at the max height level so perhaps i'll keep growing this but <laughs> oh look at it look at it <laughs> And you might just be thinking to yourselves, Matt, this is just a product of architecture. It's got nothing to do with engineering. What's happened to you? You used to be cool. And I would probably say to you, you're quite right. Well done. Yeah, this is pretty much architecture. I'm not going to try and blag it this time. <laughs> Anyone in the comment section calling me an architect? I think you're quite right this time. But it's a Trucknado, so you can't really complain, can we? And on that note, guys, I'm going to say peace, love, and Trucknados. And I'll catch you guys next time. Oh my goodness, it's so big. That is not what she said. Bye!